Hello, this is the Software Training Lab at the BYU Library. This video is going to talk about how to set fill and stroke colors in Adobe InDesign 2020. There are no practice files for this video. I just have a blank page pulled up right here. If I come over to the left side and grab a shape tool, I'm going to use ellipse today. So I can draw out a shape however I want. And right now, this has no color. And I can tell that if I go to my selection tool, deselect, then hit W to show the overprint preview or what it will look like once it's printed. So there's nothing there. If I go ahead and hit W again, I can see my path. And if I select that path, then I can edit it. Now, one way to do this is using the toolbar on the left side. At the bottom, there are two boxes, one solid, one hollow. These are for the fill and stroke. So the solid one is for the fill. So if I double click on that, I have a nice blue color automatically pops up. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I have a blue shape. If I want to color the stroke, I can double tap on this hollow box. And I like black, so we're going to make it black and hit OK. Now if I deselect and hit W for overprint preview, I can see I have a fine black line around my ellipse. So I'm going to come back, W again, and I'd like to show you another way to adjust the colors. Again, if I select my shape, and if in the Essentials Classic workspace, there will be two boxes right here, and I can click on the arrow next to them, and it'll drop down a list of swatches. So there's a list of default swatches, and I have a few saved. You'll notice also at the top of this list is none, which is different from paper. So this white with the red line means that it will not be filled at all, and if you put it over something else, it will show what's underneath. If you color it the paper, and you layer your shapes, it will block out the one below it. So be aware of that. So if I decide I want to make this a different blue, I like carefree, I can do that from here. I could change the stroke color as well. Let's say I want to make it gray. If I deselect, overprint preview, it's harder to see, but it's there. And the last way is to come to the properties panel. Now mine is already here on the right of my screen. If you are not seeing it on your screen, you can come up to the window menu, click on it, and it's alphabetical, so it's a ways down. Just click on properties and it'll pop right up. If I select my shape, it will give me the properties of this specific shape. And here in appearance, I have my fill and my stroke. So if I double tap on these, I get the same list as at the top, and I can also easily make my stroke wider as well as change a number of other settings that we'll save for another video. But at least now you can see that the gray stroke is always there. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this, deselect. I'll just show you the overprint preview. Now if I want to draw a shape with colors that I already like, I can come to any of those places, but I'm going to do it at the bottom of the toolbar on the left. Double click. I like blue. We'll say OK. And the stroke, we're going to go back to black. I like black. Hit OK. Then I'm going to come and grab a shape tool. We'll do ellipse again. You can draw that out and your shape has those colors. I deselect over print preview. You can see that fine black line. So that is how you change stroke and fill colors in Adobe InDesign 2020. And we encourage you to check out the YouTube channel and the library website with description below. Thanks for watching.